Greetings. This demonstration is to show how fast a Windows XP computer can boot using a, my newest modded computer, which is not quite complete. Um, it uh, has a Core 2 Duo processor, uh, E4300, one of the older ones, overclocked to just over 3 gigahertz, 1 gig of RAM, and uh, ATI uh, video card. doesn't really matter. That doesn't affect the boot time. I'm going to start right now. I've disabled all startup programs except for my ATI control center and the onboard audio drivers. Disabled the password login so all I have to do is click a username because uh, fumbling with the keys for the password wouldn't give an accurate reflection of the boot speed. Even clicking my name is an optional thing. We could delete that option to get an even faster boot, maybe save a few seconds. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to click my username here. And then we can watch when Windows is finished. And just when that wireless loads, it's done now. As you can see, the mouse is not busy, it's ready to go. Windows is not thrashing the hard drive anymore, no more icons are loading in the sys tray. So that was uh, a fairly accurate representation of how fast Windows XP can boot. Just to show how clean a system could run, we'll open up the task list. Nothing running for the performance monitor. Only 20 t 21 processes running. Very clean, only the necessary things running no applications running. So that's an example of a fairly clean system. Let me shut that down. And I will now shut down Windows and demonstrate how fast Windows XP should shut down. So we're shutting it down right now. and the computer is off. So the challenge goes to Windows Vista to see if the latest, greatest Microsoft operating system and all that fancy hardware really makes an advantage over Windows XP. That will be in a future video. Thank you for watching.